Hey guys, my name's Lauren and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to make my own healthy, hearty fish food for my saltwater fish. Don't forget if you are new to like and subscribe and turn on the bell so that you're notified when I'm uploading new videos. So you may or may not know that I've got some sick fish in my saltwater tank and I'm really wanting to feed them as best I can and get them nice and healthy. So I decided today to go out to the deli and be really annoying to the checkout chick having to get like a few bits and pieces but I got some fresh seafood and I'm gonna make up my own little mix here to feed to them. My fish are in for an absolute treat. So I'll go through what I bought first. I Make sure if you're doing this as well that you don't buy pre-cooked stuff you want all raw if you're making your own fish food. So first of all I've got some mussels so that's pretty self-explanatory. I bought a nice bit of squid, bought some prawns and some scallops. This is what we're going to be making our fish food out of some nice fresh seafood. So I'm going to start with the squid so I'm just going to chop this really roughly. Now these are going to be the time consuming ones, getting these out. Alright, now we want to basically chop them up so they're small enough but you don't want to make it sort of a puree. So there's a bit of a fine line here that you don't want to blend it too much but you want it to be small enough for the fish. Alright, so I've got my trusty little blender here. I'm just going to pop that on. See there's still little chunks in that. I don't know if you can see that but it's still chunky which is what you want. I reckon we see what they think of it. I'm going to feed some now and then I'm also going to freeze some for later. So I think I liked it. Now to store it and to freeze it so I can use it for any feedings, all I'm gonna do is put them in little snap lock bags, but thin enough that I can sort of break off a piece and feed at feeding time. Zip them up in their little bags and just squish it out like that. Make it nice and flat and there you go. Just break little bits off every time I need a feed and it's all done. But there we go. I've got three lots of my own homemade fresh seafood ready to go. Hopefully this will add a nice bit of nutrition for my fish that are going through a bit of sickness at the moment. So yeah, hope this has helped. I thought I'd video it in case anyone else was thinking of making their own food for their fish. Um, as you can see, mine absolutely loved it. So hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time.